I'm excited. So show me the place. Show me the place. I'll show you the place. Right How do I flip the camera again? Okay, my office is still a mess for now, so you can forgive that. Oh, but look, wait, wait, wait. Go to the book. Go to the book there. What's the, What's that? Go. Retire. Retire. Young retire. Ah, nice. Okay. Let's see what else is there in your in your book cover there. My bookshelf. Your bookshelf. Sorry. <laughs> look at that. The Tenex rule. That's, oh, that's, so which one is your favorite one? Sure, that's a tough one. <laughs> My favorite one is always Trump, the art of the deal, because I really like that guy. So, yeah. Okay, we're <laughs> that, gonna that is, we, we're gonna agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> My, my, my second, um, I've got a couple of books that are still in the pipeline for me to read um, because I bought a few this month. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to reading the Stellenbosch Mafia, this one right here. Oh, really? Yeah, I want to be a business mafia, so I need to actually know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's cool, that's cool. Show me the rest of the place, let's see. Uh, this is my lovely admit and admin lady. That's Anushka. <laughs> ah, we've got some progress. Oh, look at that. Wow. This is wow. my favorite view. I never get stressed, but you know, I have a nicer office than me officially with that view. <laughs> you see, so yeah, I kind of enjoy standing here. Um, and then Come back. Oof. And then those are my cameras. I can actually see my stuff <laughs> and what they're doing. <laughs> and then, yeah, this is how things are at the workshop. And then these are the tools that are being prepared for RMI accreditation, which I'm hoping we will be done within the next two weeks. Then you can bring your insurance cars and all that type of stuff. And you'll be able to fix the, any car in, throughout the whole country. <laughs> yeah, that's my new car. <laughs> okay, your new car, okay. <laughs> I bought this as well. We should be printing it hopefully by the end of this week. And yeah, so. So tell me, what is a property person doing with cars? As long as you are living on the planet Earth, you are working on someone's property, right? A car is a type of property, right? So, you know, when a car is stolen, they say it's stolen property. Your clothes, when they're stolen, they say it's stolen property. So I always say to people, I'm still in the property business. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> I've not changed the game at all. It's just that, I changed the business model, right? Because um, for me now, I made a point where I want to invest in things that only produce daily cash flow. For me, I want money every day. And I, I'm done with it. But you're not, you're not out of property, like the, 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 the residential, the living type of property. Although you, I suppose you can live in a car, but... <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. I, I, I'm never out of those. It's just that for now, I wanted to build businesses that produce daily cash. Your, you're part of your seven streams of income. Yes. You nice. Know. And okay. another thing is, you know, looking at the regulations and the times that we're in, um, I wanted a level five type of business, a business that can make money in any level. Level five, nice. I know I won't be stranded. Level one, I know I won't be stranded. And, you know, I believe this is the highest form of living. Well, there's many forms, but this is just one of the highest, right? Why? Because, you know, um, we usually say leverage is, you know, 1% of 100 people's efforts. And, you know, by fixing cars, I'm not sure what the percentage is there, but it's a, it's a crazy percentage from what? <laughs> Potentially 1,000 people's efforts, 10,000 people's efforts. You know, um, hopefully a million people's efforts. Okay, but now, but, but now, you know, I'm a very lazy person. 
So yeah. I I saw this awesome post that you did on 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 Facebook. You were at some radio show, showing off there, doing your thing, <laughs> and it had a very interesting title. It said the five leverages or what in property, something like that. Five forms of leverage. Yes. The five forms of leverage. But then I was too lazy to sit and listen to it, and I I knew I was going to have questions. <laughs> So I thought I'm just going to call you and ask you, so what are those? Because that sounded so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one is other people's mind power, mind power, right? Mind power, other people's okay. mindset, right? So yeah. in other words, if there's something you don't know, find ways to employ someone else's mindset. And there's two ways to employ people's mindset. Number one is by buying, you know, into their mindset, buying their mindset, right? by paying through coaching or mentorships, whatever the case is, or by servicing the person through a network. Right? Oh, okay. So we usually say, if you can't join their table or if you can't sit in the same table with them, service their networks, right? That way you find yourself in the same room as everybody else, right? So mind power. Number two is other people's manpower. Okay. Right? Other people's physical strength. Right, like me, but, I, I like to, to always like tell my husband, even though it's something I can do, but you know that lazy part again. So I'm like, I can't do yeah. this. <laughs> so, okay, I'm using that one. I'm using that one. I like it. Yes. <laughs> um, some so, some call it other people's expertise, which means you use your lawyers, you use your your people who actually specialize in whatever it is that they do. Right. Mm. So it's your people in your squad. Right, that you want to utilize accountants, doctors, okay, maybe not doctors in this case, but your, your construction owners, construction company owners, and so forth, architects, you know, yeah, so those are the people you want to utilize. The skills, as okay. Your, man, yeah. your manpower, yes, because right. they have the skills, they have the expertise and the specialties that you don't really want to major in. Or maybe, as, as Robert Kiyosaki says, your job is to be a generalist not a specialist in everything, right? <laughs> you need to know a little about everything. Every so day. for me, I, I'm a big believer in that. If knowing a little about everything, just enough for me to know what I'm doing, right? And then um, the third one is other people's time. Other people's okay. time, right? So um, you want to be able to employ other people's time so that you can be able to focus on the most important. Right. Because your duty as a, as a business owner, as a property investor, is not to, to be making phone calls and asking people to pay their rent, you're not going to pay their rent, because you, 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 the, the quality of your phone call then ceases to be one of millions. It becomes a quality of phone call to solve rental problems, which is roughly 3.5, 4.5 maybe to 8,000 rand, 9,000, whatever the rental amount it is that you are looking for, but then you cease to be, you know, to solve problems with millions, right? Uh -huh. You start being the boss, right? So the reason why you want to use other people's time is because you don't want to lock yourself in the box. You don't want to be in the box, mm -hmm. right? What you want to do is to, mm -hmm. I don't like saying you want to create the box, but anyways, you, you don't want the box, <laughs> right? You want to own the box. You want to own, you want the, to box. own the box, right? <laughs> don't be yeah. in the box, own the box. <laughs> Just own the box. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the thing. And then um, the second one, um, okay, the fourth one is other people's marketing. So we always say the name of the game is who knows you and who do you know, right? Who do you know and who knows you? It's all about about who knows you nowadays it's not so much about how smart you are how educated you are how intelligent you are like none of that stuff matters right okay maybe it matters to a certain degree but you know and as an individual you can only do so much it's all about who knows you that's the name of the game right we are always taught mm -hmm. that being connected is wrong but being connected is probably the best thing you can ever do for yourself in this South Africa right otherwise you'll always be lost on the line Right. So it's always about who knows you. So we always say it's important that you build strategic business relationships, right? So every week I take it, I take out an average of five to 10 business owners, um, strangers, I meet up with them. How can I help their businesses grow? What can I do for them? How can I help them achieve their dreams? And, you know, so when I build those strategic business relationships, 
I don't build to ask for money. I build to service them, right? What can I do to help them grow their business? What can I do? Who can I introduce them to, right? Because now we're coming into a time where this thing of selling, of selling one thing to one person, selling a cup that you bought at what? Is it wholesale price or retail price? I don't know which one wholesale. it is. Wholesale price. That, the one that yeah. you, bought, you bought it wholesale for 30 <laughs> rand, and then you'd sell at 45 rand. That stuff is not gonna work anymore, right? It's all about context, right? Uh, the, okay, so I started employing Crunkadone's um, formula. That context, oh. you know, so you wanna build context so that you can secure contracts. Contracts secure revenue. Revenue secures the wealth, right? Yeah. So okay. it's not so much about how intelligent you are, it's about securing contacts and finding ways to which you can make money with these guys and put it on a contract and be able to secure it for as long as possible. Right, stretch it out as long as possible. Right, that's how you create wealth. That's how your business survives COVID, by the way. And there you were stealing, you were not stealing. That's the wrong word. Leveraging, <laughs> leveraging mind power, and you don't have to be physically be in that person's um, space. It's also about what do they put out there um, in in terms of the internet, online, digital, all of that sort of things. But wasn't that for what's the fifth one? The fifth one is everyone's favorite, it's other people's money. So other ah, people's okay. money comes as a result of having majored on the first four. Okay. Right? Um, so it comes as a result of having majored on the first four because the first four help you establish trust, right? So you wanna major on the first four and then you can be able to call people, ask them for money to finance whatever project you've got because no one is going to give you their money unless they feel they are connected with you, unless they feel that they know what you're doing, unless they feel that there's a relationship that is just, that just goes beyond money, right? So um, that's the most important thing. Now, other people's money goes without saying. Say, what? Without saying, you're saying is right. So um, <laughs> let's make a short example, right? When, when I started in property with your guidance, um, I was earning less than 2,000 rand. And now, can you imagine the first property deal we bought was 2.1 million rand? And now think about it like this. If I had to do it on my own, if I had to save um, to buy a 2.1 million rand property, right? How long was that going to take? Right? Being a guy earning to less than 2,000 rand. And on the day, if I'm lucky enough to survive long enough to save 2, 2 million rand from 2 point, from, by earning 2,000 rand a month, Right? Um, on the day that I'm done saving it, ready to buy the property, how much would that property cost at that time? Right? Yeah. So saving was gonna cost me money, right? So that's why we use other people's money because saving is ridiculous, right? The more you save money, they're printing money, you're losing money and you know, uh, it's just not good for you, right? So the best thing to do is to learn the skills and the tools that will enable you to be able to use other people's money. Other people's money, you know, investors are everywhere. That is why we take the time to build strategic business relationships on a weekly basis, right? Because we're creating capacity. You know, it goes with creating capacity. There's a, there's a task we usually give our coaching clients where we say to them, uh, listen, um, take a look at your contacts, right? If you needed a thousand rand within the next 24 hours, who can you call? Who's going to give you a thousand rand within the next 24 hours? And the average coaching client would say they get it. They have about three people who can give them, um, you know, um, a thousand rand. And we're only talking about a thousand rand. We haven't started speaking about a million. It's just talking about a thousand rand. And the average coaching client would say about three people, right? So they show that if they were to call these people, they need a thousand rand they would get it within 24 hours. But think about it like this. If you need 100,000 rand within the next 24 hours, okay, let's stretch it to the next seven days. How many people can you call? Then the game changes. Yeah. No, right? that's powerful. But now, Lili, right? I, you, can't, you can't be giving away all your secrets on you, okay? You don't. You're not going to do it. Because I know <laughs> that you obviously you have a coaching program so tell people where can they get a hold of you? How can they get in contact with you for your coaching program that, that you do to change and use all of these five leverages um, that you're talking about? 
Awesome. They can contact me from my website. They can Google me. I'm Googleable nowadays. <laughs> All right, cool. I will put in the video description. I'll put the leaflet with photo address in there. <laughs> so it's Lisa King Poly everywhere. It's the, it's my name everywhere on social media. You can schedule a, a property consultation call with me, and then I'll be looking forward to connecting. And it'll be any kind of property, even even uh, clothing property. <laughs> clothing property. You just come with it, right? You just come with it. Right? <laughs> I think the most important thing that people have to understand is the four quadrants, right? that you know um it's understanding business systems how to build business systems because that's what we do in property right we find property opportunities and we build business systems around it that make the property investable that make the property be able to reproduce or print money as robert Pusak would say so the most important skill i believe is learning how to build a business system around a property or whatever business that you want to do and then that makes you know your deal you know, investable. That will find you the money that you need. All right, awesome, Lifley. Thank you so much for the chat and taking us on a walkthrough of your uh, brand new business, baby, that you made there. <laughs> and it's looking Thank awesome. You so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> sure.